Alrighty, uh, howdy everyone again, Veda here, <laughs> and today I just want to quickly want to talk about something just really qu uh, quickly again. Um, this just I don't do many talking videos on my channel. I usually do funny gaming videos where I just literally post whatever game I want, whatever f game I feel like playing with my friends, doing some stupid shit on there, and just having fun. You know, I think that's what it's about. You know, just having fun, and whatever is fun for you, you should be able to record or just upload if you want. So, um, however, today I just thought I just want to hear other people's opinions about this as well and hear what you guys think about this. <clears throat> maybe some of you guys agree, maybe some of you guys don't. But I just want to sh like share with y'all my like definition of or my understanding of what's wrong with the content creation that people do for Destiny. Obviously, we have huge streamers and huge YouTubers like like Sweatsicle and stuff like that, you know, like uh, or, or um, part of the Redeem Clan, you know. Dado, all these huge streamers that started with Destiny, or didn't even start with Destiny, but went on Destiny on their way and got big from there with their day ones, you know, and all that stuff, and actually made it a full-time job. I'm, I really, I'm really inspired by them, and I'm really thankful for them, really happy for them. Can't wish them anything more but the best, and I'm really happy that they got what they wanted, or pretty much not. You can't really say they got what they wanted, because at the end of the day, we don't know what they wanted, you know? But what I want to talk about is... <clears throat> where I think the problem lays in. Because a lot of people, they start with Destiny and they start building up a viewership, either on Twitch, on YouTube, or whatever it is that, that they're doing. You know, they'll, stop, they'll, they'll start recording Destiny videos for years to come. And for on, the Destiny community is pretty strong. It is pretty strong. You can make up a very, 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 very nice and cool Destiny community. Um, and, you know, keep going from there, keep spreading positivity or whatever you are trying to spread, keep doing that. However, what I think the problem with this is, um, even I myself made myself a nice, cute little community with about 400 people, I believe, on a Discord called the Olympus community. Um, but that all died, and it's now down to 30 people. <laughs> and I'll explain to you where this problem bled into, or if it's just me that thinks that. So what I think is the problem is that Destiny is very repetitive. And of course, we all know this. Uh, we've known this for many years. We complain about it. We take breaks. Even if we don't take breaks, we play it every single day. We still love it. However, other people might get bored of it. You know, people that help you might get bored of it. People that you play with might get bored of it. Your viewers might get bored of it. You know, that's, that's where I think the problem lays in. Destiny is a really cool and strong game, but not for everyone for a long period of time. A lot of people can play it for years to come, but a lot of people also can't. And that's where I think like new viewers come in and old viewership leaves, where it is very hard to actually become very successful on Destiny itself. Um, for example, let me just give you guys an example of my reasoning here. So, for example, I streamed uh, for about two years. Um, when I still had, I used to have a lot of time. I, I'd say, okay, I technically did not have any time at all, but I made myself time. You know, I sacrificed my sleeping time for it, and I started to stream anyways at night. Um, I got five, five hours of sleep every single day and streamed for about three to four hours. And these three to four hours gave me enough time to <coughs> do... <coughs> Sorry, guys, New Year's was pretty hard. Happy New Year's, by the way. Sorry. Happy New Year's. Anyways, uh, I stream myself three to four hours helping people out in Destiny. I've helped over a thousand Guardians do PvE helps, uh, get flawless the first time, you know, low mans, I did trio helps, duo helps. Um, I took even, I took, I, I, I took an autistic person uh, through Vault of Glass before. I took a blind person, or tried to at least. I sadly didn't really work out very, very well. A guy with Down Syndrome as well. It was really, there's really many cool people that you help in raids, you know? And I did this for a very long time until I eventually, sadly, got bored of it. I loved it. I loved helping people out. Loved seeing their reaction the first time completing a raid and all that stuff. I had my helpers. But then the problem started kicked in. Time. All right? Destiny raids and helping as well, especially as well takes a lot of time. And the problem with this is that if you don't have enough time to really put into it, then you can't really go far in the Destiny era. Because either you do something where you can keep building it up and you have to be consistent with it. If you're not it easily goes back down again because you're not going to be remembered for what you do because there's so many other people that do what you do and you don't really stand out unless you do it consistently or you're very good at it, right? I stood out, I, in my opinion, I stood out because of the way I was on my streams. I was very, okay, I don't want to talk about myself here, but yes, all right? I, I feel like I stood out and managed to build myself something up and it kept growing, growing, and growing until I myself got bored of it and my helpers 
I had helpers that helped me every single day uh, carry people through the raids and teach them the raids, took in, taking our times. Then school kicked in, obviously. I'm still a high school student. I'm 19 years old currently. So that kicked in. Um, didn't really have... From two, three to four hours, it went to one to two hours, which is not, a, not enough for a teaching raid. So always went into half teaching raids um, or more than PV, PvP help. So switched things up, which people didn't like. Um, and then lost a huge part of my viewership from that. And then another thing that happened was um, people themselves. The people that join your stream to be able to teach the raid, they'll join, like most of the viewers that you get will join because they want to be taught the raid. And as soon as they are taught the raid, not everyone will stick around. Even if they like you or if they appreciate what you do, they won't stick around for what you do. You know, they'll stick around for a stream or two. Even if you're like, if you post it around, you promote yourself, you get a lot of viewers. You'll get like 80 concurring viewers, you know, helping people out, people waiting for you to help them. But as soon as you help them, they'll eventually leave. That's just the sad reality of what it is and how it actually is. And that's where I think the hard part comes into growing in the Destiny part of the community. Um, Destiny's an awesome game. I still play it, even though I'm kind of taking a break of it right now because, you know, if you played it for seven years, it's just not that fun anymore because of the repetitive <laughs> sorry repetitiveness all right and i just want to think like where do you guys think the destiny game is wrong with content creation where do you guys think the problems lay in the content creation of destiny is it also the repet repetitiveness or is it also just because viewers literally just join the streams because they want to do what you're telling them you're going to do and then they don't stick around because not everyone will. And for the people that do stick around, they might stick around for a bit until it gets, you know, too much for them as well. Because nobody wants to watch something you do every single day over and over and over again. Like, people that do raid helps and PvP helps that aren't really different from others, for example. That they don't have, a, like, they don't do challenges, maybe giveaways or any sort of that things. The viewers that watch you help other viewers it won't stick around for long because it just gets repetitive you know and then the people that you helped they'll leave eventually as well because you already helped them you know so why would they stick around as well unless a new raid comes out maybe some of them will come back so your viewership will slowly grow and then from that growth you have to make something out of it that's where i went wrong that's where i didn't take it i didn't take my viewership that i had to put it into something better to grow my viewership even more by for example uploading youtube videos or playing a different game that my viewers would like as well you know creating even more viewers from that other game I didn't do that because I just generally did not have the time to do that anymore. So then I took a month break from Twitch, and now my Twitch, I have like three to eight concurring viewers, which dropped from 40. I used to have 40, and now I dropped to three to eight, which is totally fine. I'm fine with that. You know, I'm, I had a beautiful journey. I streamed for almost two years now. Beautiful journey. I still didn't give up. I still stream every single day. If you guys want to check it out, twitch.tv slash um, Not every single day right now, taking a break, but... Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't want to make this too long, but those are just generally my thoughts. I think content creation for Destiny is not as easy as many people think. Uh, what, for example, Sweatsicle and Dado do, they also don't just play, you know, what they do. They <coughs> obviously have a lot of accomplishments in the game as well, which, you know, make it easy for people to find them. Um, even Sweatsicle at the start, you know, had to do the things that we all do to grow our viewership as well, but he uses viewership to do something better he uses viewership to you know keep building it he didn't keep he, he tried so hard not being consistent that's what i really like about sweatsicle and i think it's inspiring and i think that's the one thing you can't do if you really want to grow on a destiny game then you can't be repetitive even though most of the things you will do are repetitive you have to somehow make them not repetitive that's the hard part in my opinion let me go know let me know what you guys think other than that uh, subscribe would be appreciated or any other video that will be posted will be coming very soon. Uh, I have some videos already planned. Just editing takes a while since I don't have much time since I am graduating in two months. So I'm really focusing on my finals. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know your opinions down below. See you guys.